In this video, you are going to learn how to edit the skin or how to smooth out the skin in Premiere Pro without using any third party plugins. In Premiere Pro, you have to rely on third party plugins, but I will show you how you can smooth out the skin without using any third party plugins. We will be using the built in tools within the Lumetri Colors panel in Premiere Pro. This method is very easy, and the good thing about this method is that it does not take loads on your system. So while rendering, it would render very fast. Unlike the third party, plugins it takes lots of time third party plugins they just blur out the skin with the help of blur effect and the blur effect is very heavy and it takes lots of loads and resources on your system so if you don't have the high-end system it may not render fast so if you are excited about this method please hit the like button so without further ado let's get started all right we'll go to the lumetri color panel which is over here if it is not shown over here just go to the windows and then select the lumetri color so that way it would be visible over here now you have to just go to this option hsl secondary just click on this and that would open up this panel so here we have some options so we'll be using this option to select the skin first so we'll click on the first one this is going to take your initial sample and then we have the plus symbol so you can add to that selection or that color and then we have the minus color picker tool so you can just subtract from your selection so we'll just select this one and then we'll click on the skin so now you can see skin has been selected but we are not able to see it we have to just come over here on this so we need to check this box and that's going to show us this option and if we click on this little arrow that's going to show us the other option as well so we can see the colors in or our selection in colors or black so that way we can make it more visible or you can simply select the black and white so that way it is going to show it this way you can choose any of these option which you like the best but i go for the color and black all right so now let's click on the plus color picker and then we are going to add to the selection so wherever part has been left out we are going to just paint over that all right and if you just uncheck this so there is little skin which is left over here so we'll again pick the plus color picker and we are going to paint over here and thereafter if we just press the play you can see most of the skin is selected and the only problem right now is that it has some noises or certain parts have some small black dots that means certain areas are left out from the selection so for that purpose what we can do we either we can expand all of these options so if we can just click and drag these sliders so we can expand the selection or we can lower down the selection all right so with the help of this focus right over here i'm just clicking this little arrow and dragging it and you can see over here this arm is being selected and then we have this l so we can adjust it with the help of this one as well and then we have the option of refining it so we can just reduce the noise so that way the output result would be better so we can increase it denoise so now we won't be having those sharp edges and then we can increase the blur so blur would also help to avoid those sharp edges or sharp difference between what we do on the skin and what is on the rest of the area so now we have somewhat of fairly good selection and if we just play it through let's check the eyes it's very important because if the eyes are also selected that means it's going to make the eyes also smooth which want to look good because eyes have to be tech sharp so we are going to remove some part of the eyes from the selection so we'll select the subtract color selection and then we are going to click over here somewhat oh and let's pick it one more time maybe from here and click all right if it is not working properly let's try something else so we'll just reduce these colors from here will not expand these selections so we'll focus on the eyes so you can see 
now on the eyes we have this black color so that means uh, wherever there is a black the effect will not be applied and wherever the color is shown the effect would be applied so we can adjust these sliders you can see now if i just drag it to the left side how it is being adjusted so i'll go something over here which looks good all right and thereafter it's very important that you uncheck this color black and white otherwise your output footage would be the same as you can see right over here so we'll just uncheck this and then we have the option of sharpen so we'll decrease the sharpening because we want to smooth out the skin so we'll decrease it to around let's say 30 35 percent or 38 percent so let's go for 35 percent and i have just tested that 35 to 40 percent is a good range to have the good skin tone otherwise you will have a very blurry skin which want to look that good and if we zoom in over here so let's go to 50 percent and let's see so you can see now the skin is very smooth let me just make it bigger so that you can see it clearly so if we just uncheck this hsl option from here by clicking this little checkbox so if i uncheck this you can see the skin has very rough patches so if i just play it just notice right over here there is lots of noise etc and if i check this one you can see the skin has become smoother so just take a look at this if you want to lighten the skin you can just uh, drag this slider up and if you want to darken it just drag it down so that's going to make it darker all right so you can adjust all of these and then we have the option of these temperature stains etc that you can do to adjust the skin tone and i have already made a video how you can just get the perfect skin tone every time in premiere pro if you have not checked it check that out the link of this is in the description section or somewhere in the i button